Hello, welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial. I'm Ashish. So this is part 18 of this video series. So before proceeding, please watch part 16 and part 17 of this video series because I'm going to use that example which I have previously used. Okay, so now in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about how can you call a partial view using jQuery in an ASP.NET MVC application. Okay, so here are the f uh, here are four steps that I'm going to follow. Okay, so in the step first, I will just create a button to call my partial view. Okay, and in the second step, I will just make the Ajax call to call the controller method which uh, which is going to return a partial view. Okay, and in step, step 3, I will just load that Ajax response which will be in a HTML string uh, into my model body. Okay, and in the final step, I will just show my model. Okay, so let's get started. So in the previous video, I had just created this method and I was just loading the partial view with three extension method. And in the part 16, I had just created this list of employee with the delete button option. Okay, and here is my model. Okay, so let's have the view of it. So you can see my three method and just return the partial view okay and here is my list so I'm going to call my partial view using jQuery so let's delete this and I'm going to follow the first step that is I'm going to add a button so just copy this row copy and paste it here okay and now just rename it so basically I'm going to show a particular employee record so show employee okay and I'm passing the employee ID here and now just you can use the other icon like uh, I open so now just create this method show employee so where show employee equals function now you just need to call a function which will receive an ID as a parameter so let's say employee ID okay and now you can write your code here so you can call as X uh, here just copy this and paste it here so we don't need this too and instead of the uh, uh, de delete employee I will just use the show employee okay and as a parameter I will just pass this employee ID so copy this and paste it here and in the response so my second thing is that I just need to create this show employee method inside my controller so I have already created this so I need to pass this employee ID as a parameter and this this method is going to return a partial view okay so I have already uh, uh, added this partial view so I am in partial view so whenever I call this then I will just get this string okay so as a result I will just let, let's name it as a response I will get the HTML field so I will just bind this HTML in the third step I will just load the Ajax response into modal body okay so so you just need to open your model body okay so this is my model body and just delete the content of this and give it the ID ID equals let's say my model body and let's say diff okay now copy this so I'm going to load my partial view inside this model body okay so I will just 
use dollar so I'm going to access that div with with its ID so dot HTML and I'm going to bind this HTML response okay and uh, after that I will I, in the fourth step I will just show my model okay so here I'm going to use show okay so everything is okay now go to the controller and put a breakpoint here and make sure you are calling the right method so just paste it here and just run this application so here you go okay now I'm going to click on this button so let's see what's gonna happen so it's calling this controller method with you can check the employee ID here and it's going to return this partial one okay so I will just get this message okay so let's continue this here you go now cancel this and now I'm going to show the particular employee record okay so I have an ID okay employee ID so let's stop this and write a you can just copy this method also so just first thing just copy this context and the second thing is that you just copy this okay so this this met uh, this uh, method uh, this is uh, now going to uh, give me the list of employee but now I am going to filter it using employee ID so just I want to use it and x dot employee ID equal to equal to view so I will get the particular employee ID so so in this list I'm uh, I'm going to get the only one list here and I will just bind it into the view back list employee list okay so here just delete this and here I ha I already have created this template so just paste it so it's going to show the employee name department name and address okay so here I will uh, I'm not going to get multiple record instead only one record okay now run this application and let's see what's gonna happen so here you go okay now I'm going to click on this so it's calling the so I have just passed the employee and uh, just continue this okay so I got this employee record okay now go to the controller and remove the breakpoint now you can call this so this uh, the name is Sara department name is marketing New York so now I want to check the David record just click on this okay now just go to this and uh, just use the success so that you can differentiate the view and the delete option okay so now I'm going to tell you the different uh, way to call the uh, partial view okay so instead of calling this a Jax I will just use this okay so I'm going to load uh, the HTML response into this uh, model body div so just use uh, dot load function so in the load function I will just pass the URL and I will just call the function okay here so now I'm going to write the URL here so declare the URL equals 
now this one now in case in my case I have the URL show employee and you can put employee ID equals okay so I have my this employee so actually I have this uh, I have just created uh, the URL string okay and now I will pass it into this load function and after the load I will just show the model so in instead of using this Ajax just comment it I'm going to use this so now refresh this and let's see whether it is working or not okay now call this oh, okay great you can see the same record by using that method okay so whenever you want the uh, reusable component then you can put that into the partial view whatever you want to show on your every page so just call the partial view in this way using either you can uh, this partial view is going to help me uh, in editing the particular employee record okay so uh, in the later video session I will just uh, uh, use uh, I will just edit the employee record using partial view okay so thank you very much for watching my video uh, hope this is going to help you and also uh, okay so I am done here thank you very much for watching my video and uh, hope you understand the concept of partial view and uh, if you like my videos then please uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, if you have any problem then do comment and share my video and help your friend okay have a great day bye bye